Hi all and welcome back. So today let's discuss about recruitment management in Odo 40. So Odo's recruitment module makes it possible for you to receive applications from a multitude of sources facilitating the collection and cleverly choosing the candidate data. By examining the application, one can easily access the source from which the candidate originates, thus optimizing the recruitment budget accordingly. So, and also it enables you to monitor and follow up submitted applications. So, here we have our recruitment application. So, just install it from App Store. So, you can see when you open your recruitment, we have, we can see the job positions available, created. So, you can see different job positions like experience developer, chief technical officer, marketing and community manager, and you can see uh, the published, whether a job position is published or not by looking at the badge. So we have a badge for that. And we can see the total number of applications, new applications, uh, total number to recruit, and we can enable the job description if you want. So you can see the badges removed from here. And it's also possible to, uh, that is at link trackers. Then we can also mark, uh, add job position to favorites. And it's possible to filter job position, that is my job position, favorite job position in recruitment. We can uh, see or manage the job positions in recruitment, then in position, then we can also group job position by department. So you can see under administration, there is one job position created and you can see according to status, that is we can group according to status. So you can see total number of uh, job position in recruitment process and you can also group it according to company. Then you can find option like when you click on these three dots, you can uh, set color for this job position. And as we have started recruitment for this job position, we can mark if the recruitment is closed, that is done. We can mark it as recruitment done. And for this uh, job position, uh, it it is not yet started. So we can start recruitment from here or we can go to this three dots and we can start recruitment. Before that, before creating and managing job position, let's go to configuration settings and see what our options are available in Odoo for managing recruit recruitment. So here we can see option for online posting, publish available jobs on your website. So it is enabled, already enabled. Then we can create interview forms, that is use interview forms during recruitment process. So just enabling this and saving settings. Then here we can configure job position. We can see the department under which the job position is created. And you can see current number of, number of employees, expected new employees, total forecast employees, hired employees, and status of that job position and company. Then we can add refuse reasons. If you refuse an application, uh, company refuses an application, we can add, we have to add a refuse reason. So here we can create new refuse reasons. So you can see application gets a better offer. Doesn't fit the job recruit, uh, requirements. Then we can configure departments, then activity types. So you can see different activity types already created like email, meeting, you can see different one. So using this activity type, we can create activities and schedule them. Okay, then coming back to our application. That is job positions. So let's create a new job position. Of 
after adding job position you can create it so we can see that uh, the job position is created and can see number of application zero new application zero and can see one to recruit uh, so we have to we can configure it so uh, from here we can set color and if you want to create interview form you can create that so you can see this is a interview form for this job position. So here we can add questions, description. Uh, here we have option like whether that is layout option, whether to display it in all questions. That is one page with all questions, one page per session, one page per question. Progression mode, whether in percentage or number. Then we can set access mode for candidates. That is anyone with link or invitation whether login is required then we can set survey time limit selection whether selection mode all questions or randomized per question then scoring method whether no scoring scoring with answer thread or scoring uh, without answers at end then we can set live session details like reward given for quick answers and we can set session code so this is related with survey module. So we'll be discussing about these things in survey module later. Okay. So if you want to create, you can create and save interview form. So from here, we can start survey, we can test it. And if candidate attends the survey, you can see, and if he answered some questions, you can see the number of answers. So again, now let's edit this content writer job position. So from here, we can add job description, then recruitment. And so here we can add expected numbers five. You can see recruitment form here. So we can display recruit interview form. And here we can add the recruited name, department. So I have created a new department content writing and here we can set appraisal. So after creating job position, save it. And we can just click on job description. So you can see, see it is published. Now from here, so we have started the recruitment now. Let's click on the zero application. So directly from here, we can create application or uh, when you edit this and when you go to website. So you can see the job name, job description, location, uh, what all details that you have provided inside the uh, job position form. Uh, you can see that. And directly from here, we can apply. So you can provide a name. You can provide email ID. Phone number, short description. You can browse the uh, uh, resume and attach it from here. And you have to provide the phone number. And you have to submit it. So when you submit, you can see application has been sent. So now you can see for this job position content writer, there is one application created. And when you come back, you can see one new application, one application. 
so when you click on this you can see it is in the first stage adaptive first stage and from here we can mark let us review this applicant and it is possible to attach documents and also we can schedule activity so we can plan meeting or we can plan call so you can see plan and if a call is done and if the first qualification is completed you can go to first interview and then if he qualified the first interview you can move to second interview and then contract proposal and if this applicant is interested then you can be moved to contract signed so when you open this you can see now so from here directly we can create employee And it's also possible to refuse. So now when you check employee module, so you can see the employees created. And then we can create contract. So now you can see number of new application is zero and we can see already created applications and number of uh, persons to recruit that is number of positions left. Then if the recruitment is done, we can just close recruitment by recruitment done. And it is also possible to create an application manually from here. So when you create application, you can add application name. can provide email ID, phone number, details can be provided here. We can add tags, a recruiter name, you can see for this job position recruiter name, and we can add reference by a user. Then you can see the applied job, it's added as content writer, department can be seen, expected salary can be provided here. Okay, so after adding details, you can save it. So you can see now it is an initial qualification. We can move it to first interview. So if the recruiter found that this employee, this applicant is not fit for this job, you can just refuse. So for that, from here when you click can see option to refuse this can add refuse reason doesn't fit the job requirements you can see it is refused and it is also possible to restock so you can see it is now moved and it is also possible to close recruitment so when you click on this three dots you can see option to mark recruitment done you can just click that so you can see recruitment is done and we can again start new recruitment later then we also have option to see all applications 
then we have a recruitment reporting that is recruitment analysis so you can see uh, this is a dashboard view for recruitment analysis from here we can select change the measure you can see the refused new applicant hired by referral has referral then process duration count you can see different measures you can see pie chart line chart and bar chart view and we have also have pivot view and graph view so you can uh, add select measures from here we can filter group recruitment analysis and we can insert the report in spreadsheet So that's all about a uh, recruitment module in Odo 40. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to odo at cyprocess.com.